time to bring Halloween to your station. This switch can be bribed with chocolate. Something wicked this way comes. It's Halloween special on your favorite station. Be afraid. Now, dear children, it's time to tuck safely into your beds. Or check under them first. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. That's fly. And sleep and go. For tonight, it's Halloween. <laughs> Just because you can't see it, see it, see it, doesn't mean it's not there. Tonight ten, 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 only, believe nothing you hear, and only one half that you see. Halloween special. There is something dark at work here. Y- y- your favorite station. Spook and fright with your Halloween DJ. Good evening, Tim. Welcome to my Halloween special. Tonight, it's all about Halloween. Do you like my backdrop? How have you all been? Is everyone feeling good? Did you get out of your comfort zone even for a little while? What have you all been up to? Go on, tell me. I'm your queen. You have to tell me everything. I've been looking forward to Halloween. I love this part of the year. Ghosts, ghoulies, witches and zombies. Especially when Christmas is on the way. And when Halloween is over. Be able to put up the Christmas decorations. It's allowed, I'm sure. So let's get this show on the road. So get your clothes off. Get mate kit. Sit with your friend. Sit on your friend. Get the girls a drink. Get the popcorn out. I'm going to start off with my first tune. And singing This Is Halloween. Don't be scared. I'm your hostess. It'll look after you all. It'll be right back after this one. Nightmare on Elm Street. Do you believe in the boogeyman? No. Everything you do, don't fall asleep. Fuck. Audio jump. Lightning's gone off. Oh, fuck. It's all now. Come in, hang on. It's a fucking. Obviously a power cut in it. Oh. If you don't play with us, then we will kill you. Oh, that's fucking spooky. Game with you. Come in. <laughs> Come in. 
nice to see you. Hello. Hello, welcome to my show. How is everybody doing? Did you enjoy the start? It took a bit of time, but I got there. So, welcome to my show, as I said. Now, this is all about Halloween. And, oh, hang on. Hello, little one, how are you? Hello. <laughs> Do you like my little, my little pet? <laughs> Lovely spider. But anyway. Welcome to my show. This is, like I said, is all about Halloween. Now, Halloween is rooted in ancient Celtic history. Halloween is older than Christiana itself. Oh, it's older than the God. <laughs> and uh, the roots lead back to the pre-Christian Satan, Celtic or pagan times. And uh, translates as Summer's End. And took place around the 1st of November. The Celts believed the veil between the living and the dead was the thinnest at this time of year. So this time of year, the ghosts are closer. The spooks are closer. And um, you never know. <laughs> so, um, yes. Um, they tried to ward off ghosts and evil spirits with bonfires, costumes and masks to trick the spirits. To so trick them. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be tricked by that, would you? <laughs> you never know, though. If you met me in a dark place, what would you think? And um, trick-or-treating has a medieval past. The tradition of turning up on your neighbor's, neighbor's doorstep and asking for treats is as far from a new tradition in medieval times the same. Known as guising. Took place in Scotland and Ireland. Guising saw youngsters... Hmm, hang on, I'll turn the page. Because I can't remember all this, can I? <laughs> oh, hang on. I'll find it in a minute. There we go. And they went door to door asking for money and food in exchange for songs. Now, me thinks now, I'm looking for my new tits, aren't I? And I'm thinking next year, hmm, might, yeah, might go for it. Might have to go to Turkey. 
But I'm thinking now, perhaps I go trick or treat in, knock on the doors, sing them a song, and um, hopefully they'll give me some money for my tits. Anyway, Irish folklore lies behind the character of Jack O'Lantern. Jack O'Lantern is someone we closely associate with the traditional carved pumpkins of Halloween. However, his story dates back to ancient Irish myth and the character of Stingy Jack. He was said to be doomed to roam the earth at night due to, deal, due to a deal made with the devil. Hmm, I could make a deal with the devil. I could. I could. Give me my tits and I'll do anything you like. There we go. Sorted. Hello? Are you there? <laughs> And um, he made a deal with the devil to light his path. He used to light coal and carry it on a carved out turnip. Turnip. So all the time that um, Halloween's on, you could use a turnip instead of a pumpkin. That'd save you some money, wouldn't it? I think the kids would be a bit pissed, though. <laughs> when Irish settlers arrived in the USA, they released, they realised the pumpkin offered a much better surface for carving. Now I'm thinking, perhaps I should buy Jacob a, a turnip. Him and his girlfriend Leafy, perhaps they, I'll buy him a turnip and they, there we go, carve that out. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, a, I think a trip to A and E might be, might be um, sorted. But anyway, that's the start, and I'll read out some more in a minute. <laughs> but I'm going to play my next song, and I'll be right back after this. So don't go away. And um, you never know what might happen. There we go. Back in a moment. Time is fleeting. Madness takes its toll. But listen closely. Not for very much longer. I've got to keep control. It's just a jump to the left. Put your hands on your hips. With voyeuristic intention Well secluded I see all With a bit of a mind flip You're into the time slip And nothing can ever be the same You're faced out on sensation Like you're under sedation
That video was Time Warp. I'd done that, um, and the neighbours must think I'm totally bonkers. Uh, smoke machine out there, TV, um, laptop. There's loads of stuff out there to do all the recording. And um, they, my neighbours must think I'm totally nuts because um, I do quite a lot of stuff outside. <laughs> and um, yeah, I haven't seen anyone peering over the fence yet. But you never know, it might happen. So, let's get on with this one. Now, um, Halloween masks have a sinister, oh, pardon me. Halloween masks have a sinister past. The rituals of the ancient Celts were more bloodthirsty than costumes of modern day. In traditional oh, Samhain celebrations, I think that's right, the Celts, Masks were made from animal skins and other parts of dead animals. Oh. I'm not sure if I like that. Walking down the road with a pig's bladder on your head. Or, oh no. But yeah, scary. If you, if you were walking down the road and you met someone like that, oh, and all their innards hanging out and that sort of thing, nah. That would be scary. You'd think there'd been an attack, wouldn't you? <laughs> You'd run for your life. <laughs> so yeah, I can get that. Anyway, and um, the master was said to ward off evil spirits as they passed on at this spooky time of year. America's love for Halloween was driven by immigrants. The Irish settlers who fled to America after the potato famine in the 1840s, it's going back a long time, I've got an itch, were instrumental in popularization of Halloween in their new home. They brought their traditional celebrations with them and they soon became a national hit. 30th October is known as Mischief Night. Oh, Mischief Night. You probably remember it from childhood, but 30th October has traditionally been enjoyed as Mischief Night or Goosey Night. Goosey Night? Goosey? Well, I'm not sure. I've, I've never heard of that one, Goosey Night, in different parts of the UK. While it's not quite as popular as it once was, the occasion saw young pranksters taken to the streets with eggs, toilet paper, and other unwanted nasties to shower their neighbourhood. Hmm. I, um, if I catch anybody egg in my place, hmm, I'll be a Halloween bitch, all right? I'll sort them out. Now my next song is oh, Tainted Love. And this is with, I've forgotten who it is now. Oh, Peach. It's Peach or something. I'll let you know afterwards. I'll, I'll put it down the bottom. There you go. I'll put it down the bottom. And it's um, their YouTube. It's a group on YouTube and they're amazing. And they've done some Halloween songs. So listen to this one. I think you might enjoy it. And I'll be right back after this with some more interesting facts about Halloween. Don't go away. You were working as a waitress in a hotel bar When I met you
much is true But even then I knew I'd find a much better place Either with or without you The fighters we had have been such good Now the next bit is um, about movies. Um, I love Nightmare on Elm Street with Freddy Krueger and I had all those copies. And then um, my best all time favorite is Alien. And I've got all the Alien ones. And the thing about Alien is they brought out the Predator and then the Predators bred aliens for hunting. And that's made sense, you know? And they, they started coming out, and uh, they're just awesome. And Sigourney Weaver, oh, she's awesome in it. I do like her in that one. But the Alien, yeah, it's really good. Um, alien versus Predator, and then they changed, didn't they? And the Alien was in the Predator, so they had a mix, uh, a multi-breed, and, oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> yes. It's my alien tracker. I've always got it on. And um, I think we could be in a bit of trouble here. Because it's a tracker, alien tracker. And they're getting closer. And they're getting closer. And I think. I might have to um, discreetly leave in a little bit because they are coming. But it's what it's all about. And you're watching the film but then you hear this going and you know they're coming and you, you, you can see, oh. <laughs> you can see them coming and they're getting surrounded. But the film, Alien, is Awesome. There's something coming. And it's just so good. Brilliant film. And uh, um, I can hear something. <laughs> there they are. <laughs> I wonder where you were. <laughs> Took your time, didn't you? Alien, that's them there. And um, it's so good. The films are awesome. I, I love all of them. And yeah, I'm going to be watching them all again back to back from the first one, second, third, etc., etc. And then um, just got to keep an eye on these because they're not very trustworthy. But I'm your queen. Do as I say. It's time to move on to 
to the next song. I will play my next one and then I'll be right back after this with some more info about Halloween. Ooh, I've got to go quickly. I'll be back in a bit. Don't go away. Love ya. Hey, Bob, back. I was working in the lab late one night when my eyes beheld an eerie sight. For my monster from his slab began to rise, and suddenly, to my surprise, he did the mash. He did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. He did the mash. It caught on in a flash. He did the mash. He did the monster mash. Wow. From my laboratory in the castle east wow. to the master bedroom where the vampires feast. Wow. The ghouls all came from their humble abode wow. to get a jolt from my electrode. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. They did the mash. It caught on in a flash. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. Wow. The zombies were having fun. In a shoot, wow. The party had just begun. In a shoot, wow. The guests included Wolfman, in wow. Dracula, and his son. Wow. The scene was rocky, all were digging the sounds. Wow. Igor on chains, backed by his baying hounds. Wow. The coffin bangers were about to arrive wow. with their vocal group, the Crypt Kicker Five. They played the mash. They played the monster mash. The monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. They played the mash. It caught on in a flash. They played the mash. They played the monster mash. Wow. Out from his coffin rack's voice did ring. Wow. Seemed he was troubled by just one thing. Wow. Wow. Open the lid. And shook his fist and said, Whatever happened to my Transylvania twist? It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. The monster mash. And it's a graveyard smash. It's now the mash. It's caught on in a flash. It's now the mash. It's now the monster mash. Now everything's cool, Drax a part of the band. And my monster mash is the hit of the land. For you, the living, this mash was meant to. When you get to my door, tell them what is said. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. The monster mash. And do my graveyard smash. Then you can mash. You'll catch on in a flash. Then you can mash. Then you can monster mash. That was my partner Pete in his lab with the monster mash. He wanted to be part of it, and I said, yeah, okay, go on then, do it, do it, do it. So he did. And he, he was pretty good. It was quite good. We'd done a duet before, hadn't we? And um, he was good then, and I said, if he's good, then I'll bring him back. So, um, yeah, he's done well with that one, I think. And um, always a lot of fun. Um, the old Monster Mash, oh, that's going back. That's going back a long, long time, that is. But it's so popular, that one. People love that one. Anyway, back to the facts. Now, World War II saw Halloween treats rationed. World War II rations. The treats were rationed. Oh. Trick or treating took back seat during World War II as sugar rationing meant sweet treats were hard to come by. Well, I'm thinking, give me a turnip. <laughs> give me a turnip, go out for my garden. Get that, get that, give that to the kids when they come around. Here, here's a turnip. <laughs> and uh, many confectioners recognised the value of Halloween and took their chance to advertise and stock up on Halloween-themed treats. Once war, once the war and the rationing were over. Hmm, OK, excuse me. <laughs> Now, the full moons at Halloween are very rare indeed. Is it a full moon this time? I'm not quite sure if it is this time. Um, let me just hold that like that. That's better. Can I just put that there? That's better. You all right up there? 
You okay? Good. And, um, deliver. Full moons are Halloween are very rare indeed. We associate full moons with the spookiest time of the year, but this isn't always the case. The moon is full approximately every 19 years on Halloween. The last full moon was the 31st of October, it was 2020. So we've got a long wait to the next one. So no, it's not a full moon. So that answered the question really, didn't it? It's no full moon. Thank you, Spider. Thank you. Halloween coincide, coincides, coincides with the traditional Day of the Dead. The Day of the Dead is a significant, significant celebration in Mexico and other Latin American countries. It is celebrate, celebrated between 31st of October and the 2nd of November. Ooh, three days before my birthday. <laughs> and is a chance for families to com commemorate oh, and mourn their dead. So they only do it at that time of the year. Well, my mum and dad's passed and I, I commemorate them all the time. I always think about them. And um, the celebration combi combines ancient Aztec rituals with Catholic adaptations. You will see traditional Aztec skulls alongside prayers and candles. Mm. Now, black cats. Black cats are linked to Halloween. Black cats are considered perfect companion to traditional witches and the medieval belief that witches could transform into black cats at will. The witch and black cat symbolizes Halloween and the belief is so strong that even poor black cats waiting for the adoption from rescue centers struggling to find a home at Halloween. Get out there, go and get a black cat. Go on. Get a black cat, you know it makes sense. Traditional bonfires contain bones, while bonfires are linked to bonfire night traditionally. They're also common at Halloween, and their past is also a little spookier than you would imagine. Original Celtic bonfires were aptly named bone fires. Uh, as the Celts as the Celts, as the Celts threw animal bones into the flames to ward off those evil spirits again. So I'm going to play my next one. The next one's Thriller. I'm sure you'll enjoy this one. And of course, Michael Jackson, he's back from the dead. <laughs> Poor Michael, but hey ho. <laughs> but I'm sure he's playing about with a lot of boys. <laughs> Hello, Michael, wherever you are. And I'll be right back after this one. So don't go away. Scared. It's close to midnight Something evil's lurking in the dark Under the moonlight You see a sight that almost stops your heart You try to scream But Tara take the sound before you make it Close your eyes 
darkness falls across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand. Creatures crawl in search of blood to terrorize your neighborhood. And whosoever shall be found without the soul for getting down must stand and face the hounds of hell and rot inside a corpse's shell. years and grisly goons from every tomb are closing in to seal your doom and though you fight to stay alive your body starts to shiver for no mere mortal can resist the evil of the thriller Michael Jackson and Thriller. Did you enjoy that one? That was a lot of fun to do that one. <laughs> Lots of fun. <laughs> we, we definitely had a giggle. Um, how many takes did that take? <laughs> a few, quite a few. But um, yeah, it worked out in the end. So <laughs> yeah, it was really good. It was funny. <laughs> and we really, and we all really enjoyed doing that one. Now, um, Black and orange, some more facts for you for Halloween. 
Black and orange are seen around Halloween for symbolic reasons. When October arrives, it's not unusual to see shops, town centres and many homes decked out in orange and black. The colours have strong Halloween connections and their association with this time of the year is not accidental. Mm, didn't know that, did you? <sighs> Orange is commonly associated with the harvest season and the harvest of autumn. Represents darkness and to the hark back to the origins of Halloween and it's linked to the boundaries between life and death. The pumpkin is particularly symbolic of this and many costumes featured black and orange designs. Now, as far as I know, orange is like the 70s. Um, my mum and dad had a caravan in the 70s, orange. Um, we had orange furniture. We did, we had orange furniture. And uh, there's lots of orange. Orange is like the 70s. But I didn't know it was combined with Halloween. Obviously, yeah, the pumpkin's pink, but no, not pink, is it? <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> pumpkin's orange. Witches are more wise than wicked. The witch has become a symbol of Halloween too. And while the image of wicked witch who scares young children and casts evil curses is considered particularly seasonal. Now, um, there's lots of spells for witches and things like that. Do you believe in it? <laughs> and if you're a wicked witch like me, I'm good. And um, watch yourself, because you never know. I can reach everybody. I'm your queen. And uh, historically, what witches were all about, and that's curses and stuff like that. Uh, the witch is taken from the Old England, Old English wiki, wiki, which translate as wise woman. The wiki in the Anglo-Saxon villages were held on high esteem and would use their magic through pagan rites and ceremonies to summon good harvests. Wiki tended to be unmarried women and also widowed women who used their reputation for medicinal herbalism and healing abilities to earn a living. It wasn't until the 15th century that the image of witches flying became a commonplace. Um, although they were pictured flying on shovels, goats, and wolves. Flying a, on a goat? Really? And on a shovel? <laughs> um, before the broomstick came the most popular choice. As Catholos... As Catholicism... Catholicism? <laughs> Catholics, yeah became the norm in England. So did the desire to rid of society of those sticking to paganistic and traditional ways of life. And we saw many witches burned to death or drowned. Mm. Sweets and candy at Halloween. It's a 20th century thing for children. Halloween is all about collecting up as many sweets and goodies as possible. <laughs> yes, please with almost every confectioner and sweet manufacturer bringing out special edition sweets of all kinds of tempting treats. And you know why that is? Because the bank of mum and dad. Yes, please, mummy, let's have some treats. Oh, I know they're expensive, <laughs> but they're special. They're Halloween treats. It's chocolate, it's sweets. <laughs> Um, this wasn't always the way prior to the 1950s. Children knocking on doors would be presented with nuts, little toys, or even coins instead. So yeah, give them nuts. <laughs> Do us some nuts, kids. <laughs> oh, that's going down the wrong route, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, Michael Jackson. <laughs> By the 1950s, the brand behind our favourite sweets of chocolate cottoned on to the potential moneymaker. See, moneymaking each October and began marketing Halloween treats. Now, Halloween simply isn't complete without a bucket full of treats and spooky themed treats. So, bank of mum and dad, get your treats out, because I could be knocking at the door saying, mm, give me a treat, please. Um, but I'm thinking, instead of chocolate, can of Stella, <laughs> that'd do me. Can of Stella, please. And I'm going to play my next one. 
This is by the same group that done Tainted Love. Uh, this one is... What's this one called? What's this one? Um, I put a spell on you. <laughs> and they done this one. Another Halloween um, video that they done. Awesome group. Link down there again. Go and find them on YouTube and you watch them. They're really good. I'll be back in a minute. I've got to go and find some treats. Laters. I put a spell on you And now you're mine You can't stop the things I do Broken Peach. That's who it is. I put a spell on you. Aren't they good? They are amazing. Their makeup is awesome. But oh yeah, Broken Peach that was. I put a spell on you. So watch out. I could put a spell on you. So um, let's get on with some more facts. Now the spooky hit Monster Mash. Pete done that earlier in the lab. Was once banned by the BBC. Why? <laughs> Going to be on any Halloween playlist and play that Halloween. Parties up and down the country. Monster Mash by America's singer Bobby Pickett was once banned by the BBC. The BBC made the unusual decision to ban the 1962 hit song from Airplay because they considered it too morbid. What do they make of things now? Are they like less morbid now? Uh, BBC? What's going on? <laughs> and um, it was over a decade later, 10 years later, more than 10 years, in 1973, when the Halloween hit finally got the attention it deserved in the UK. 11 years after its release, the song hit number three in the UK charts and was enjoyed by everyone for this Halloween classic. Now, <laughs> I remember in my day, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, that was banned. You couldn't watch it. You couldn't buy it. You couldn't watch it. And... Um, they took that off as well, so uh, you you can watch it now, you can buy it now. And um, I've seen the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and uh, yawn, uh, excuse me. But what's going on? Why are things banned? Now, with me, you know what I'm like. <laughs> it's up to us what we watch and what we don't watch. Yeah, put an 18 rated on it, but over 18, you can do what you want. You can watch what you want. You can listen to what you want. 
Now, in my day, when I was in the army, there's a the Northern Ireland song. Do you remember I played it? And it's about a soldier that was in the post office in Northern Ireland and he dived onto a bomb to save everyone because he didn't have time to throw it out the window. So he dived on it to save everybody. That Northern Ireland song was banned in the army. And if you played it in the army, you faced jail time. What? So all this ban, you're not allowed to do this, you're not allowed to do that. No, no, Gloria says no. Do what you want when you want. Get out of your comfort zone. Do you remember me telling you? Get out of your comfort zone every now and again. So BBC, <laughs> you banned it? You weren't allowed to play? See, that is a good thing about Radio Caroline. Because Radio Caroline used to play stuff that other stations wouldn't play, like BBC. Lots of stuff they used to play. Radio Caroline. And it's, I used to listen to them while out at sea when I was 14, 17, 14 to 17. 40 visits, so yeah, three or four years it was. And we used to listen to Radio Caroline all the time. Some top DJs come from Radio Caroline. But I'm thinking now, Halloween night out at sea, mm, Jaws comes to mind. And that's when Jaws was released, when I was a commercial fisherman. And every time he brought in the nets, it was like, ooh, what's in there? <laughs> but I'm going to play my next one now. And um, I should be back right after this. And it's, um, oh God. It's, um, I can see it. It's a motorbike one. Not Knight Rider. That's the other film, isn't it? <laughs> Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider? Ghost Rider, I think. So I've got to go for a pee. So I'm going to magic myself away. And I'll be back in a little while after I've been for a pee. Let's ride.
Now, being Halloween, I'm thinking, I don't remember when I was a kid with Halloween. I don't remember it. I know it seemed safer then than it is now, but kids going out on their own at Halloween? No. I don't think it's the done thing now, you know? Um, there's too many predators out there. But in my day, I don't remember Halloween. I don't. Why don't I remember Halloween? Perhaps it was too scary and I've like wiped it from my thoughts. But anyway, Halloween. I love Halloween. It's great fun. Um, I'm hostess at the club, as you know. The Halloween night. 240 people turned up last year. It's, it's the biggest event of the year, Halloween. Of course, I've been invited up to Blackpool for Halloween, but I can't go because I'm working. Which is, um, oh, it's a shame. Because I did think about going out Friday night just for Halloween on Friday night, but the party's on a Saturday night, so, yeah, I couldn't do that. But, um, yeah, trick-or-treating when the kids come round. Which reminds me, I must remember to get some sweets. <laughs> I don't want to be egged or put a spell on me and all that sort of thing. But um, Halloween, I love Halloween. And once Halloween's over, Christmas, <laughs> it's Christmas. So, Alexa, how many days till Christmas? Christmas is in 66 days. On Monday, the 25th, of December 2023 Santa has a Christmas cracker joke he wants to share with us Alexa what do shut up 66 days till Christmas well in fact it's not 66 it's probably about 60 days 60 it's about 60 days till Christmas um, but she's wrong she's always getting it wrong but yeah Halloween great time of the year and I am thinking about being a witch, you know? Do rituals and stuff like that. Do they like, do they do uh, naked dances around, around far open fires in the woods? Now, when I go out and I do my wildlife stuff and I put my trail cameras out, I come across this place in the woods, in the middle of the woods, there's a rock pile with um, a bonfire obviously being on it. Round the edge, there's logs. On the side, there's like big wooden beams and what looks like a cross. Now, <laughs> I have thought about putting my trail cameras out there and seeing what turns up, but nothing's turned up yet. I haven't done it a lot, but I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I wonder what I might find. I wonder what goes on there. It's, um, yeah, I wonder what goes on there in the woods. And um, I'll let you know, and if I can't, I've been burnt at the stake and all drowned in the, in the, in the water. Because <laughs> they, like, I don't know. I don't know what it's for. But it just looks really spooky, really weird. Especially the, what looks like a cross. And it looks like a cross where someone's staked up. So it could be like, you know, a pagan thing or a witchy thing. But yeah, it's, it's, quite, in, it's quite interesting. Obviously, when I'm out in the woods on my own, setting my cameras up, it's a bit spooky with the animals, the wildlife, making noises, you know. But this place, in the woods, spooky as fuck. <laughs> it really is. But anyway, that's Halloween. And um, yeah, when the kids come round... Be kind, because you know they'll love you. <laughs> they will, they'll love you. But give them some turnips, give them some nuts. <laughs> I'm going to play my next song. And this one, um, I thought I might sing it myself, you know, because I've got a glorious voice. <laughs> and uh, I'm in love with a monster. I'll be right back after this one. i 
for you, buy me a rose Be covered in dirt before I'm covered in gold It's trying it on, yeah, you're sick of me, oh Say what you want, but I won't ever be told Cause I'm in love with a monster I love this I'm sorry to say that is the end of my show I hope you enjoyed this Halloween special I wanted to go out and find <laughs> a graveyard a disused graveyard and have the smoke machine and all that sort of stuff but rain put play to that plus the fact I couldn't find one there is one in Salisbury it's a, it's a village and it was abandoned years and years ago and you can visit it you're allowed to visit it during the day not at night because it's locked up at night and um, the army use it for training so I was thinking oh, I wonder if I could get away with it <laughs> and I was thinking about doing it but <laughs> no I couldn't because um, I'd get caught, wouldn't I? <laughs> so I didn't do it. And then I thought I'd go to this witch's place that I told you about earlier. And I thought, nah. Me in the woods, doing my Halloween show. And um, what if someone turned up, you know, some witches turned up or something. And um, no, nah, I, I couldn't do that. So I didn't go there either. So obviously, green screen. It had to be done green screen. 
and um, yeah but the flooding today oh my god me and my son went out today we went out in my truck to explore <laughs> and there was so much flooding just up the road so deep so yeah foot down in the Land Rover there's me and, me, me and my son playing in the water <laughs> like you do but um yeah I hope you liked the Halloween show it was a lot of fun putting it together and um, <laughs> it's just amazing amazing time but remember what I tell you get out your comfort zone have you got out your comfort zone? I've been getting out my comfort zone quite a lot lately, uh, especially at the club, at Tut Sauna Day, and um, that's tutsauna.com, and um, yeah, Naked Tuesday on Sunday, I'll be going there Sunday as well, and Tea Girl Wednesday, oh Tea Girl Wednesday, oh my God, I've turned into a right slapper. <laughs> I have, I have, because as you know, I've lost my virginity now, and um, yeah, but I like to be spoiled. I like to be wooed. And someone said to me, how can I get you to bed? I said, you've got to woo me. And he says, what do you mean woo me? You've got to buy me chocolates, flowers, and drinks. And be nice to me, take me out, look after me, pleasure me. And um, I never heard from them again. So I don't, know, I don't know what's wrong with everyone. Something else I'm thinking. My tits, I've joined Gender GP online and um, my meds, I'm not taking enough meds. I'm on one milligram a day and it's, they're supposed to be about four milligrams a day for what I need. So they are coming on, but they're just a little bit slow for me. I want to wake up in the morning and go, oh, hello girls, <laughs> you know, <laughs> they are coming on. They are. But yeah, I need, I need them faster. So yeah, I'm thinking Gender GP online, it's 200 quid to join up, and then you get your prescription, um, you can get an um, electronic prescription, because it's an American company, electronic prescription, take it to the chemist, and they're prescribing for me. Or I can get my doctor to do it, and she says it'll always be um, there for me if I'm needed. But um, yeah, I'm also thinking next year, if they haven't happened, I'm thinking of going to Turkey and getting some implants. And I'm thinking of a large C, maybe a small D. But I want them now. I'm so impatient. I've been waiting. It's nearly 18 months now I've been on these meds. And you know me. I want them now, please. So if there's any daddies out there want to buy me some tits, take me on holiday, treat me. <laughs> you can come with me. And you can um, have them done when I'm out there. But um, yeah, that's what it's like. What have I got coming up? Halloween. I've got a Halloween um, party at swindlingswindlers.com. And um, it's the biggest night of the year. Last year, I said earlier, last year 240 people turned up. This year, I think so many has already RSVP'd. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a busy night. A real, real busy night. And that's wicked couples and singles. But that's my um, but that's my um, show done for now. I love you all. You take care of each other. And until next time, good night. my darlings that's it have some sleepless nights Halloween is here I will see you again next time I love you all you take care and good night <laughs>